What a freaking surprise. After eight weeks pretty much of up only, we're having a red day on crypto and Bitcoin today is down around 7%. And as you can see, most of the outs are bleeding quite a bit today. Uh, and we're in a quite an interesting spot. And that's why I wanted to do a quick market update and tell you what my thoughts are, because in one of the scenarios I'm preparing by the end of the year to pretty much sell most of my crypto into cash. And I'll explain my reasoning in just a little bit. But let's just focus on the chart here. So it seems like that for now, price topped out at around 45K. And I've mentioned before that this entire area around 45 to 48K, I would say, is a massive resistance spot. And we could definitely break above it, but I think uh, just going parabolic from here after so much bullishness uh, will be quite hard. And the question, in my opinion, remains, is this going to be a deeper correction? So as I said, we already have 7% day. Is this going to go down to, let's say, the 38, 37K level or maybe even lower uh, and maybe potentially get a bounce from there? Or we're just going to buy the price up here and continue consolidate or rip higher these are the two main scenarios that i'll be looking into and if we get a massive dip here are a few zones that i'll be looking uh first of all we're at 40k so this is already a round number and i believe that we could still bounce from here although there is not much of price action here and not many major things happening on the charts here at this level but still it's a round number so many people might start buying 40k um, even if it sounds weird, I think that's just enough seeing 40k and okay, let's buy some. Uh, however, more technical reasons, if we pull out the retracement tool here, uh, are to buy somewhere in this area. So I would say somewhere in here, you know, the sweet spot is a little bit lower around 35k. But I think anything between 35 and 37 could be a good um, buying opportunity for a quick bounce. And that's a very important thing because... If you see here from the local top to uh, here to around 34K, that's a 24% washout. And I don't really want the price to, you know, stabilize here at these levels at this early before the ETF announcement. You know, we could go down here to 32K and still be bullish, but that is a 30% washout on Bitcoin. And uh, with so major catalysts, you know, and the bullish side and so much green, as you can see, I don't want to see this happening. So a quick wick here um, in the 35s, I think could be a good buying opportunity for a potential bounce uh, into the announcement of the ETF. If this is a positive announcement, obviously, that's a big if uh, not many people are talking about it as a scenario, but I still think we could get a rejection, which could be a massacre <laughs> you know, on the markets. Uh, and if this, what I've just discussed, plays out, and if we see something like a massive washout here, I could entertain a dip buy here. This would be like a capitulation buy. I'm not sure if I'm going to be buying Bitcoin, but maybe some outs, if they capitulate really hard and there's some clear levels, um, that could be a good buying opportunity. And if we see a bounce, I will accept this bounce as a higher low. So I would expect price to do something like this and then potentially consolidate or even go lower. I wouldn't be surprised this uh, if this happens. And if this happens, my plan is to any bounce, whenever we bounce or maybe we consolidate here, I'm planning to heavily start taking profit in this area. And the main reasoning for this, are there are a couple of reasons. So first of all, it's been a great year for me. You know, I've more than doubled my portfolio overall. That's only on the crypto side. I'm not even talking about the ordinal side. And I've been pro quite, uh, you know, happy with the way I've been trading. You know, I've been trading mostly Bitcoin, some Ethereum, a few outs that we're going to discuss also. And I'm expecting to lock up a lot of profit because I don't, if I don't do this mentally, I wouldn't be feeling okay going into the next year. Yes, you can make the case that, you know, anyway, we're all bullish and potentially in a year or two prices will be much higher than this. But I do expect to have a few months of proper chop, I would say, uh, after such a move. And after the ETF announcements, actually Cret, CryptoCred mentioned this, and I haven't even thought about it. But even if we get a positive announcement on the ETF, probably the actual ETF will not start trading 
until a couple of months later because there are all kinds of formalities they have to go but uh, the day of the announcement and let's say this is a positive announcement for crypto you know this doesn't mean that we are right away going to see the influx of uh, you know boomers buying bitcoin so uh, just keep this in mind nobody i think is really considering this as uh, something uh, that we're going to see everybody thinks oh we get an etf up only and that's it but if this happens it will be a tough time i think in the couple of years in the couple of months or three months or so before we get the etf approval and even uh, except for and the second reason actually is that even if everything goes great you know and so on and so on, there's still risks about the recession and there's still risks out there you know with the fed go doing something crazy that i also don't think it should be disregarded this might not be a massive recession we might not see like a big dip but still even if we get a small dip i think this will numb the whole uh, bitcoin rally and in general the crypto rally and it will take a few more months to recharge and potentially continue and this of course will present new opportunities for new kinds of entries new setups and so on so on. so if i start with a clean slate i will feel much better uh, that i've paid myself i wouldn't have to rush into positions i wouldn't have to blame myself for not taking enough profit because i've been there i've done this um actually somewhere around here you know i didn't take enough profit had two opportunities i should have taken much more profit here on the top of this bull market so now i want to be a little bit smarter about this uh, and also the best thing when you're uh, heavy in cash is that whenever you see a breakout uh, and if we continue to rip you know we, you could still enter there will be still plenty of setups just the last week we're seeing so many coins having setups not even only bitcoin you know or ethereum so i'm not afraid of taking a lot of profit plus i do have quite a lot of outs that i bought and are either at break even or at loss and i might use this opportunity to tax lost all of them because i'm expecting you know a significant tax bill for this year and this will help me you know a little bit negate uh, the money that i have to pay to the state and why wouldn't i do this and i can buy them back early early next year if i still want to buy them because gmx one of these ones uh, is still relatively okay chart wise you know i don't really see a long-term reason to sell here uh, but as i said again we'll see a setup and actually gmx is forming very nicely here around 56 dollar level and if we break above it that would be a clean uh you know trade setup and i could sell here and you know just book the the loss and if i decide to i can re-enter again pretty much same with matic matic is forming this level around the dollar again pretty significant level and pretty clean to trade or if we get on any significant dip i can again add to my matic and that's why i'm planning also to do the same with magic which has been uh, in the right narrative for me but it hasn't caught fire like many of the other gaming tokens stg maybe some of it i'll leave because it's locked as liquidity and as we still have um, the announcement for the layer zero airdrop and we don't know if they have have already taken the snapshot maybe i'll keep this or the majority of it um, in order to take the most advantage of this airdrop and then probably the little shit coins that i have like imagine ai again you can see here i bought somewhere around this area around the breakout and if this accumulation range uh, you know confirms as a breakdown again i think there will be plenty of more opportunities to buy banana gun is another one of those small shit coins that i bought i'm still deep in profit here because i started buying somewhere around here around 10 bucks but again if i see signs of weakness again i'm just going to cut it although this is a really really small position for me um, but i just want to i'm in a mode that i want to get more cash right now because i do have cash in my portfolio i'm ready to deploy more if we get a dip but i would like to have more same with ethereum i've mentioned that i switched some bitcoin to ethereum it's not a huge change you know i switched probably like i don't know 20 maybe 30 percent of my bitcoin so not going all in um and again if i see weakness on ethereum i'm ready to take profit overall on my ethereum position because my last buys were somewhere around here around 1600. um that is it pretty much i just wanted to discuss another scenario that maybe you know we just go for another leg higher so this is scenario one in the green but if we get another push to the upside uh, maybe this is the only red day that we're going to have maybe we get something like this in the coming weeks and a potential breakout here above this level again 
towards the end of the year and around the holidays, I will be selling into this strength. Even if we're stuck here around this level and we see signs of potential breakout, I'll be more than willing to start taking more and more profits as this is playing out as a scenario. And obviously we need to consider also the bearish case here. And if we just drop like a stone from here, uh, probably there will be a bounce again at some point, even if we get to 32K, uh, I think that was the lowest that I'm expecting, unless we get some kind of a weird black swan. But then again, my entries, like the latest entries I had on Bitcoin are at 28K. So I'm pretty comfy, even if this happens, it will hurt, it will suck, but I'll still book some profits. Uh, for the year. So pretty much that's all I have to say for now. And as always, guys, uh, you know how to find me and I'll see you in the next one.